Mike Stewart from Heritage Plumbing, Heating, Cooling, and Electric with today's Heritage Tech Tip. According to the EPA, Americans spend 90% of their time indoors, 6% of that time in our vehicles, 84% of that time between our home or our office. So having that air be safe and clean for us is very critical. There are three aspects of indoor air quality when you're looking at trying to control that environment that you're in. The first is looking at particles and particulates. Most people with forced hot air systems have a filter looking like this. This filter does nothing for indoor air quality. This is simply a furnace protection device. All it does is get the really big dust, dirt, and hair, collect that so it does not damage the equipment. It does not do anything for the indoor air quality. The reason for that is to take a filter like that and be able to have the the filter be small enough to get that fine particulates like your pollen, your dust, dust mites, things like that. The holes in the filter have to be very, very small. In order to do that, it cannot have that limited amount of surface area. They do, however, have these high efficiency air filters, which may be three to five inches in depth. And what they do is they actually pleat it. So they have the surface area to be able to filter those very small micro uh, pieces of pollen and dust and dirt to be able to clean the air as it goes through the system. Now, if you're to take one of these filters and actually stretch it out, uh, I've actually taken one of those here. When you actually take it and stretch it out, it's actually over 13 feet long. Because we have so much surface area, as you see here, in comparison between the five inch pleated filter versus the small furnace protection filter, they're able to have much smaller holes in them to be able to capture all that small particles without actually suffocating the furnace from having proper airflow. Second part of addressing your indoor air quality is the microorganisms that are in the air, which can be mold, viruses, bacteria, things like that. Best way of addressing those is through a UV protection uh, system. What it has is it has a ultraviolet bulb that sits inside of the ductwork and depending upon the rating uh, of that bulb, what it actually does is as microorganisms pass through, it will either kill those organisms, viruses uh, and mold spores that are in the air, or at a very minimum, it'll sterilize them and prevent them from any future growth. Now keep in mind, nothing's gonna replace the fact of uh, sanitizing surfaces, washing your hands and so forth like that. But it is a way of help having your HVAC system with forced hot air duct work not be a vehicle for actually spreading those things throughout the home. Depending upon location of that ultraviolet light, uh, it may actually help keep any type of buildup or anything from uh, growing onto your air conditioning coil, seeing how it is in a dark, moist environment running throughout the summer. So positioned up above your air conditioning coil in your ductwork down in your basement, it'll actually shine down and keep that area clean, which also reduce your energy costs. The third way of dressing indoor air quality is humidity control. Now during the winter, that could be supplementing humidity either through a bypass style humidifier or a steam generating humidifier, or during the summer, actually having a dehumidification system downstairs in the basement. A lot of times with standalone dehumidifiers cannot handle the full load of a full basement. So there are systems, regardless of whether you have ductwork or not, that can be installed to be able to control that humidity level in your basement to keep it down in a safe, manageable level. If you have any more questions about indoor air quality or interested in getting some information as far as how it could apply to your home, please give us a call here at Heritage. Um, or if you have any specific questions, feel free to reach out to myself, Mike Stewart, Heritage Plumbing, Heating, Cooling, and Electric. Thank you for your time. <music>